sick of this dang mask. Here's what this is good for. Don't. <laughs> You ready? That Arizona and you see that behind me that is off a I think it's a 300 ton haul truck uh. Imagine how much gold is in one of those loads. I'm not sure what that is, but that's massive too. <laughs> and my pickup truck could fit right through there. Oh my gosh. Huge. I think the tires on these haul trucks, when they tear one up, it's like $30,000 for one tire. Well guys, we're out at our claim, and I wasn't uh, expecting to be dry washing this late in the year, but our monsoon season's been really weak. We're trying a couple new things out today. I got the Arctic hat that you get wet and put on because it's already 90 degrees. We got a late start. We're usually leaving about this time, about 10.30. And also I'm videoing on the Pixel 4a. Uh, supposed to be an incredible phone for $349 video and everything. And uh, so let me know how this looks. I got to start excavating a bunch of this rock. We're going to start taking the hole this way. So I got to move a bunch of rock first and uh, we'll be back with a clean out. And, uh, it's hot. <laughs> Nuggets laying right on top of the clean out here, but no chunks or anything. As well as we did is the couple holes next to this hole, I guarantee you there's some color in here and some chunky bits too, but I can't see any visual, so let's pan this out. Nothing stuck in the quarter inch classifier, unfortunately. Looking again, I don't see any chunks, but Oh, let's pan this out. Oh. 
it's too hot for even wasps. Last time I was out here, it was all full of bees and wasps. This hat is making the, all the difference in the world. To do what I did already in this heat, you know. Without it, I don't think, I think I'd been taking a break much sooner. But it says it keeps you about 20 degrees cooler. A couple chunks showing up right there already. Is that one zooming okay compared to the last one? Sure. That's when I saw fall back from oh, the wow. first riffle Pretty. there. Can you tell what it looks like on there? I said new camera guys, so I'm not sure how that looks, but all right, well, no real big big nuggets yet, but I said we're just getting down to that pay layer, so we're gonna take a break here and we'll show you the next clean out. Got Amy to work now. I said I really hope this video from what I can see it looks much better. It's not struggling to focus like the last phone I was using. Come on, smack it. <sighs> smack it. <laughs> oh, good. I've been trying to get that one behind that one out even. So I got to put the phone down here so I can start throwing these boulders. I recommend getting one of these Arctic hats for anyone that does things. We brought the Gold Monster 1000. I want to show you a trick leader that I learned from Bill Southern, Nugget Shooter Journals. He just did a video how to... I had no idea that had a like a ground tracking uh, option on it. Didn't know. I'll show you guys that in a, in a little bit. But we're going to get ready to move some more of this dirt through. Uh, again, here's that old hand stacking. First day I came out to the claim, it was so interesting seeing that. It's full of, it's like a pack rat condo now, but it goes all the way around the corner over there. And looks like the old timers had dug this out. And oh man, I bet they got so many nuggets right in there. I mean, ounces probably in this one little turn here. Just doing all the work over there. <sighs> all right this is clean out number two and i'm getting a lot more black sands there was three times this in the pan i started panning it there's got to be more gold in here hopefully <sighs> i honestly think if it wasn't for that cool hat i'd be we'd be getting out of here right now it's hot it's about mid 90s but i can i still got another hour or two left of hard digging in me <laughs> All right, well, we got a nice chunk there. See a piece over, a little piece over here. It's not. It's a, Little nugget, or coarse little piece there. None of those, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 half gram pieces yet, though. So, all right, be back on the next one. You know, I'll go show them the hole over there. What we and the rock pile behind the dry washer been moving quite a bit. Like I said and that's in the mid 90s. So it opened up right there. It's, it's not paying out as good as it was just on the other side of those rocks there, in that old one, but still trying. Okay, here's one to, one to show you about the gold monster here. It can ha it can go in the shallow mode or the gold mode, or the auto or what I'm in here the manual. There's auto one, auto two. Let's go auto one. Now, if you hold that button down, you see the coil flashing right there. 
Now that's supposed to be like an auto tracking mode, I guess. How fast that ground balanced. So again, uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, if you would please hit that subscribe button. And a couple tips that I've gone over this year dry washing is this is the best fuel that I've found. I find this at Ace. It's a 94 octane rating. It has all the things for stable. It doesn't gum up your carburetor, your little two cycle engines when, they, when they're stored. I usually start with my cheap homemade mix from the pump that we fill our vehicles with. I'll run a tank of that and then put, because this is $7 a can, and I'll finish with this in the chainsaw or my blower there. And again, I always, if you have this style dry washer, I leave it on idle and just let the material air suspension come down so it doesn't tear the fabric instead of brushing it across there. And what else? Like I said, whenever I take time to clear the front tailings, I'll come over, it'll start to run out of dirt. I'll put a shovel of this in and then sweep some away and then put another shovel of it in. It gives me time to go back there. All the dry washing we've done here. <laughs> over there, right there. It was about 104 degrees when we did this one. I did this one by myself. A couple of videos ago when I got up at 12:30 at night to try to beat the heat out here. That was that was wild. I'm over here sitting in Amy's chair. Clean out number three, and we're definitely on better gold. The dry washer there's almost buried, but check that out right there. It's a nugget in the clean out. He popped off in the last riffle. Right on top there. There's another chunk right there. If you can see that, the tip of my finger. I'm shaking. I'm I'm exhausted. Let's see. Man, this thing focuses really nice. Let's see if we can pick him up. <laughs> oh man! Look at that nugget. Look at that guy. Uh, I'll have to put it in the pan for showing the clean out. Let's let's get this pan down. Wow, it's a nice piece for sure. It's funny because both chunks ended up right in the same area as each other. Whew. Okay, let's see what we got. piece up here one there one there and then this one <laughs> can you see how it looks or anything or that's a big shiny piece of gold there mm -hmm. that's either a point two to point three I'm guessing point three nice let's go over and see the hole I noticed I'm not sure that it came from going deeper when we were digging I noticed under that big rock there uh, the material looked a lot more compact and crunchy, so we started punching into the side into that. So I think the next run I'm going to go move those two big rocks and dig under them, do a quick clean out and see if it's, if it's much better. And we'll definitely get more of the dirt from the bottom of the hole here before we go, but definitely a, nice, a lot nicer clean out this time. Recording? Alright. So I decided to film this because I got one that's going left and right. If I really scrape up on it, they all to the right. Letter, letter gold, my guess. Oh, real quick, another tip. Been watching Mind Lab Gold in Australia. Good channel. Great channel. <laughs> Quality. Uh, when he was ground balancing the gold monster, he's going really slow pumps like this. Look at that. Look at how that went quiet. That's quiet. All right, I'm excited to see what this is here. Uh, biggest challenge is getting this thing to sit. <laughs> we'll run that through the dry washer. Louder. Wow. Screaming. Ugh. Rock, I gotta get.
get out. I'm wearing thin. It's whew, sticking in this heat. Just you know, we got a three-hour drive home after we pack everything a half mile up the wash back to the side by side. Two trips. I almost wish I could just leave the dry washer out here. <laughs> What is this? Whatever it is, it's big because it's deep. Nope. I got two targets, I think. Huh. Okay, so this one here. Now, now this is slamming left. This one is. It's hard to do this and see the. This one's left and a little bit right. Darn it. Oh. I like the new phone so far, the Pixel 4a. And I've got a gopher over there sticking its head out of the hole. We got a dry washer, man. It's about buried. That's a large dry washer. <laughs> Tailings come clear out to here. I think this thing's taking great video. What I've noticed is when we go out in the sun to record me, by the way, that was two bits of metal. That was all with a gold monster. When we go out in the sun there, it does overheat really quick, but I think it's taking great video. So. Well, guys, look at that. Ran all that through that large dry uh, royal dry washer. Well, it's been about four hours, and legs are about buried. And that's with shoving rock side to side. If I hadn't, it already would have overtaken it. Well, we will do, get this last clean out pan. We'll take it all home and show you. Put on the scale, in fact. But check this out. And I also went over to the old hole and scraped down to bedrock there and threw it in. And here's our rock we threw today, all the big rocks and move these, move these big ones. And uh, when someone gets, uh, has this claim years down the road, someone else has it. And uh, I've long passed on from a heat stroke or something. That'll cause a whole bunch of consternation for them. They'll be digging in there. <laughs> It'll fill in and look like that eventually, and they'll dig right through, try to dig through that. Yeah. All right, I don't see. Is that a big. Oh, that's a big nugget sitting right on top right there. I just looked down. Oh man, that's a nice one. Whoa. Wow. That's got to be about point, at least half a gram. All right. We'll show you the tally at home. All right, guys. That was quite a drive after digging in the heat there. Uh, anyway, we're back home and uh, got to get clean and eat and have a few cold drinks and uh, thinking about what's upcoming next and got everything dumped out of the bottle here. And... Any of you that have a channel and have uh, Lester Lepore Sr. leaving comments, he, he's been with us since the beginning, leaving really funny comments. He's supposed to be out here in a couple weeks. I think, was he Pennsylvania or somewhere way up there in the cold? That is a good clean out today. And the phone is doing really well, the new 4A Pixel. Look at that. Okay, we'll put some on the scale. So Lester, when you come out in a couple weeks, you ready to go... Dig in 90 something degree heat. I'm not sure if we're gonna have water in the creeks or not, but we'll have to do something. Oh, wrong button. Okay, here's the big one for the day. I don't know, I think point, at least point 0.5, maybe point 0.4. Ah, uh, point 0.4. All right, that's a nice piece. And then. 
The next biggest one is going to bring us up to uh, 0.1. I thought that was 0.3 by itself. Well, there's a half a gram there. And we're still going. You know what? I'm, I apologize, guys. I haven't had time to get all this dried up and everything to weigh it up. But uh, let's say half a gram. I'm really excited about this new phone. Our video is going to look so much better. Plus all this. Maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Uh, going all the way over here. Awesome. Looking forward to you coming out here, Lester. We're going to have some fun. Guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for coming along.